Hey, hi everyone. This is Venetia, and in today's video, we are going to see how to update the environment extensions using the Atmosphere API. So we'll make use of the environment extensions object uh, and uh, try to update the extension values. So for this use case, I have created a simple process property called the booking details, and uh, we have this uh, property called the booking status flag. This is basically a key value pair, and the data type of this booking status flag is of boolean. So um, so as you see, uh, currently the value uh, of this property in the build mode is uh, false. So um, let's try to, so I've included this property in this process. Uh, I, I'm just finding the value of this process property using a notify shape. I have extended the process property as part of the extensions. So uh, let me try to um, you know, just show you the extension as well. So I've deployed the process to this test environment. Let me go to the environment extensions and click on the process property. So um, you see booking underscore details, that's the property. And uh, if you see the use default value, uh, like this setting is currently turned on. So let's try to update these values by you know, making the use default uh, you know unchecked and uh, let's make the booking status flag to true so let's do this via the atmosphere api so here's the documentation link uh you know for this environment extensions object and uh, we have the details uh, for all the supported operations and the syntax and uh, uh, for each and every operation so we'll be uh, using the update operation so um we can either uh, you know uh, send the request in the xml format or the json format so let me so I have uh, you know prepared the request already. So let me just walk you through the JSON request. So uh, this is basically the environment ID. So basically where the process is deployed and like where you want to update your extension. So the environment or ID of that particular environment and uh, the ID as well as the uh, you know environment property value. Um, so now going on, uh, the process property details, the uh, ID of the um, process property, basically the component ID of the process property and the name uh, and the label. So, uh, and the key value as well. So this is the key. Um, if you go to the process property, you can find the key value here. So you will have to, you know, um, copy this value and paste it in your uh, request and um, here you will have to you know uh, pass the value whatever you want to set for this properties uh, so if it is a true or uh, false uh, since it's of boolean type so and uh, the same goes as well for the use default like uh, if you want this setting to be turned on or off we can control uh, you'll have to send the respective value through this request so um, i'm going to execute this api from the uh, postman so uh, let me quickly go back to the extensions. So currently the use default is turned on, right? So let's try to turn it off. Let's basically change it to false. And uh, uh, this booking status flag currently it is set to false, right? So let's try to change it to true and see. So I'm passing the value true here. So let me click on send. So as you see, we have received a 200 OK. That means our request was executed successfully. So this uh, should have updated the extension. So let me you know, uh, just refresh the extensions and see. Click on the environment extensions, process properties. So there you go. The use default is turned off, and the booking status flag is set to true. So I hope this uh, information helps. And thank you for watching.